Welcome to another episode of Live Free, Die Hard. And today is a very special episode because we are celebrating my birthday. Happy birthday ooh, to ooh, you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And what better way to celebrate a birthday than to make cuisines from different anime that I like, really, really like, as you can tell. <laughs> Who's ready to get started? Now, the first thing we're going to do is make breakfast because I'm hungry. The breakfast recipe that I decided to choose for today is from the anime Chainsaw Man. We're making Denji's Toast. I have my wonderful helper here today, Pochita, say hello. Here are the ingredients that you need to make Denji's amazing toast. You need a thick piece of toast. I <laughs> could not find Texas toast at the store, so I bought a big old loaf of bread that I will slice into a big old piece of toast. You need plum jam. Red plum preserves was all that I could find. Strawberry jam. You need orange marmalade. Marmalade. Butter. 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 Honey and cinnamon. Let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna need to do, the first thing we're gonna need to do is slice the perfect size of toast. Can you hear that? It's like ASMR for bread. You let the blade do the slicing. I think this size should be good. Fun fact, when I was at WeebCon, I got to meet Ryan Colt Levy, the English voice actor for Denji. And he is the coolest person ever, so nice, and cares so much about the people around him. He always makes his fans feel extra special, so shout out to you, Ryan Colt Levy. I think I found the perfect slice, everybody. Be gentle, gentle. That is a awkward looking loaf of bread, but I think we got it. Yeah, that is definitely a thick, a thick, a thick, a thick piece of bread. So we're good. I'm gonna layer the jams and stuff in the order that it is mentioned in the manga. So the first thing we need to do is add some strawberry jam. Oh! oh my god! Why'd you not have the strength of jam? What the heck? I don't know how much I'm gonna put on here, so we're just going to layer it as best as possible. Leave a little bit extra on the sides. It probably won't be as perfect as Denji makes it, but. Next, we need the plum jam. I've never had plum jam before. Oh my God, why are they so hard to open? Goodness, I had to use my whole body. Here we go with the plum. Comment down below what your favorite scene in Chainsaw Man is. Next, oh, this one just says marmalade. Marmalade. So, I'm assuming that's orange marmalade. Marmalade. But, all right, next is the marmalade. Marmalade. Why are these cans, these jars so hard to open? <laughs> Got it. Time for the orange marmalade to go on to the toast. Jelly. Denji, this better be good. Yes. Have a little bit more marmalade. Marmalade. All right, pull the sleeves up. Next is butter. That's a lot of oh, butter. Don't really have a torch to melt it a little bit, but <laughs> we'll try to do that. <laughs> honey, we're gonna drizzle some honey on it now. I'm just gonna drizzle this like. A fancy person getting it all on there. Oh my God, Denji. And last but not least, just sprinkle some cinnamon on it. Oop. Okay, sprinkle of cinnamon. Kids, do not, do not try this at home. We're gonna melt the butter this way a little bit. It's working. <laughs> all right, good enough. Okay, and there you have it, Denji's Famous toast. What do you think, Pachita? Here's the taste test. Live free, dine hard, everybody. I don't even know where to start.
Oh, oh. oh my goodness. That's good. You're onto something, Denji. That's a sugar rush for sure. Let's try the side with the butter. I don't think I'm gonna eat the whole side with the butter, but let's just try it. <laughs> oh wow, okay. The butter makes a huge difference. It definitely adds to it. That is amazing. Wonderful, wonderful recipe, Denji. I applaud you. Well, I'm going to finish eating this and we'll be back with the next recipe for lunch. Here we go. <laughs> it's time to make a refreshing beverage for my lunch. And today we are going to be making Senku Cola. Get excited. Here are the ingredients that you need for this recipe. You're going to need lime. You're going to need cilantro! Yeah! Lots of cilantro, it's so pretty. You're going to need caramelized honey, and I will be showing you how I'm going to caramelize this honey to make it perfect for our Senku so <laughs> To make it perfect for our Senku Cola. You're also going to need carbonated water. The first thing we are going to do is prep our ingredients. And the first thing we are going to prep is the lime. We need the lime zest and lime juice. I'm going to link the recipe that I used in the description below. I know that the manga has a little description of how Dr. Stone or Senku made the Coca-Cola, but this one was a little bit more detailed and there isn't really a lot of measurements. So this is the one I'm going off of. So the first thing we did was clean the lime and now it's time to zest it. Zesting the entire lime. I'm doing all right, I guess. <laughs> ah! I just zested my nail. That's good. Yummy, that smells so good. All right, next step is to squeeze the juice out of the lime. Ah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> okay, relax. <laughs> I'm using the lemon juicer because my husband is so strong when he tried to squeeze the lime out of a juice. Squeeze the lime out of a juice? <laughs> squeeze the juice out of a lime, he snapped this the lime juicer. I don't know how he did that, but he did. Things are hard to open today. Ow! I'm gonna be a little innovative, like Senku is. I'm using a clamp to open it. Come on. Ah, got it. Get excited. Lime juice, get a little mise en place going. We got to prep the cilantro. So what I'm going to do with the cilantro is I'm going to take all of the, the leaves off of it and then I'm going to wash it and then I'm going to chop it up and put it in a bowl because we're going to muddle everything together. Ah, bruh. All of the ingredients are prepped. It is now time to muddle the zest, the lime juice, and the cilantro together. I don't have a muddler, so we're gonna use the handy dandy food processor. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We have it tastes like lime juice and cilantro together, but that's just step a uh, couple of steps before we actually get to the cola part. Cause now we need to caramelize the honey. Ah! I just hit my head. I don't know how much honey I'm supposed to do. I might use a ton of this, but we need to get the honey to a simmer and then let it just kind of simmer for two minutes after that. He said when you cook the honey, it changes the flavor from like sweet to more of a nutty, savory flavor. So we gotta be careful. So we're gonna let the honey heat up and get to a simmer. Can you see that? It looks like Coca-Cola syrup, not gonna lie. Let's taste a little bit. Kind 
tastes like Coca-Cola. All right, it is time to make the carbonated water so we can mix everything together to make Senku Cola. Okay, so I put the bottled water in here. And now it's time to put the bubbles in. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. I've never done this before. <laughs> Okay, we just press it in. Okay, it's in, I think. Now we want this super bubbly, so let's see how this goes. I'm scared! I did it! Ta-da! Carbonated soda, listen, shh. The next thing we're gonna do is take a little bit of the honey and mix it with the cilantro lime mixture. And then we'll put the carbonated water in a glass and then we'll pour this stuff in. We're definitely gonna strain it and then we're gonna do a taste test. I'm so excited. That should be good. Oh, this is a mess. <laughs> All right, this is what it looks like. So now that this is sort of mixed, it does kind of taste like Coke, which is really, really crazy. We are going to strain it and put it in a glass of the carbonated water. So give me a second. <laughs> Now we are going to take a strainer and pour our syrup into the glass. That lo <laughs> looks very disgusting. I mean, I guess that's how it's gonna have to look. Get a straw, mix it around. So here is the finished product. I give you Senku Cola. It is now time to taste test. Lippery Dine Hard, everybody. <laughs> okay, that tastes like a Coca Cola. A very mild Coca Cola, but still. <laughs> It's a very tolerable one for me because I don't really like Coca-Cola, but this one is not as strong and I feel like if I added a little bit more honey or let it caramelize a little bit longer, it would have tasted even more like a Coca-Cola. But so far, this is really good. <laughs> we are on our next food item that we are going to be making today and it's dinner time, so we are going to be making Senku Ramen as it's called in the anime. When I was looking for foxtail millet to make the ramen noodles with, I actually found foxtail millet noodles already made. Yes, it has a little bit mix of other flours in it, but it says foxtail millet right there. So <laughs> we're going to be using these. I will not be using the sauce packet in it. I just wanted the noodles. So we've got our noodles. We've got the bamboo shoots, green onions that we will be putting in there. I know that we are supposed to be using chicken broth and fish broth, but I couldn't find fish broth and I didn't really want to boil fish to make fish broth. So I got <laughs> shrimp flavored ramen. I will be using the shrimp flavor packet that came with it, not the chili sauce though. And then we have ham steaks and beef stick things that I whipped up. So now we are going to be putting all of this together and making some ramen. Let's go. Get excited. It is now time to assemble our Senku Ramen. Our 
ramen is done. I am super excited to try this. Live free, die hard, everybody. <laughs> My glass is fogged up. Okay, surprisingly the shrimp and chicken broth does not taste bad together with this foxtail millet ramen. <laughs> mm. This is actually really, really good. Oh, buenísimo! All right, it is time for dessert. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when all right, we are at the last stretch of the anime cooking extravaganza birthday party thing I am doing for myself. And we are going to be making for dessert, Denji's birthday cake thing. I don't know what to call it. Are you excited, Pochita? I'm excited. I know he's excited too. So we are going to be making Denji's birthday surprise cake thing. So it's super easy. So the first thing you're going to do is get some flour, about a cup's worth of flour, just regular old flour, and put it in a bowl or a cup. I'm using a shaker. We'll do a half a cup. <laughs> and then because it is a special occasion, we're adding sugar. Fourth a cup in here. Woo! Now we add the water. I think I'm gonna do like a lot of water. Now I'm gonna put the little shaker ball in it, and then we shake. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! It is ready. Lip free, dine hard, everybody! Happy birthday to me! Ready, Pachita? Here we go. Oh! Oh, uh. I thought it would at least have something in it. It's sweet and a lot of flour. Oh, Chico! Okay, that, I feel really bad for Denji. It makes me feel sad for him. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure of my birthday extravaganza trying different anime foods and stuff. It was a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed it too. If there's any other anime foods that you would like me to try in the future, please leave them down in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. I know Pochito would love that. And always remember guys that life is a beautiful tangled mess and it is our job to make the most out of what we have been given by God and make it the best time of our lives. You guys are awesome and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye 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 bye